Okay, hi there. Welcome to a short video just introducing the idea of synopticity in economics ahead of paper three. Uh, crucially, we're going to take a look at uh, two mnemonics which you can use to help you just isolate the micro and macro factors that will score great marks on this paper. So what does synoptic mean? Well, it basically it means understanding the whole or the bigger picture in economics finding those synoptic connections or linkages between different ideas, different theories, different parts of the course. Crucially, of course, it means bringing, bringing in at least one micro and one macro economic factor into your analysis and your discussion. So, for example, macroeconomics has micro foundations. Uh, the, the performance of individual businesses and markets has an effect at a macro level in terms of growth and trade and competitiveness. Equally, it works the other way that markets and industries are also affected by macro factors. For example, the travel industry, the transport sector affected by the world price of oil and gas. Lots of industries affected by global shifts in, in production, investment, interest rates and so on. So synopticity means understanding the bigger picture and that's what paper three is going to try to, to test this summer. Now, here are two great ways of just bringing into play for you some micro and macro economic factors. So we quite like using the mnemonic popsicle for micro and digestive or digestive for macro. Let's go through each in turn. So popsicle, micro stands for prices. So, for example, what's the effect of a policy change on the prices paid by consumers or the price paid for growers? Who knows, you might get a question about farm subsidies and that will have an effect both on consumers and producers. What's the impact of a particular change on output? What will happen to production for individual firms operating in the car industry or individual sectors? Uh, what are the possible consequences of a particular change in the, the level of profit earned by businesses? Supernormal, normal, subnormal. And once you've identified that, you can then build your analysis currently going forward. How might uh, a particular policy or change impact on the structure of a market? Could be oligopoly, monopoly, opposite competition, perhaps contestable markets. So, for example, you'll, you'll know what's come up in your first two papers. But could, for example, rail nationalisation come up on, on, on a synoptic paper? That uh, nationalising affects the structure of the market. So too does technological change that can have quite a significant effect on market structure going forward. A really good point to bring into any synoptic answer, synoptic essay, is the consequence for efficiency. We've tweaked it to put it inefficiency. But what are the consequences for allocative, productive dynamic and X inefficiency. You simply cannot go wrong if you bring in an efficiency or uh, welfare consequence. What are the consequences for competition in markets, both price and non-price? The synoptic paper has a huge potential for discussion on labour market issues, impact on employment and wages and the structure of jobs. And of course, you'll have done a lot of revision on externalities. So don't forget, they can ask uh, questions on social costs and social benefits negative and positive production and consumption externalities, all these kind of things can come into play. You don't need any extra content for paper three. The focus now is on building your synoptic skills and showing them in the exam. So Popsicle is micro. Digestive is macro. So here is a nice little way of just thinking about some of the things you could bring into play into your discussion. What are the consequences of a particular policy or a change for development outcomes, human development, sustainable development, inclusive development. What are the consequences for inflation, including cost push and demand pull inflation? What are the possible impacts on a country's short term growth and long term growth perspectives? Particularly important that distinction is made. How about the impact on jobs, including employment, unemployment and the so-called natural rate of unemployment? What about the consequences for the changing structure of an economy in terms of where GDP comes from, the pattern of employment, the pattern of income growth, and so on, living standards. Consequences for trade, balance of trade, current account, financial flows. What are the consequences perhaps for income and wealth inequality? And government 
would also come into play. So what are the possible effects on how much the government has to spend, how much tax it gets, how much borrowing it has to do, and the consequences for national debt. So just going back a slide, micro is really about price output profit, efficiency, competition in markets, the labour market and externalities. Those are the big micro ones and they relate to particular sectors, particular industries. Whereas macro is the bigger macro picture, picking up some effects on growth, jobs, inflation, development, inequality and the fiscal side. There are so many topics they could ask you about. You'll, you'll work through paper one and paper two. You'll know what's happened on your particular board. I've just put in a, a question spotting here or topic spotting, but these are some very topical synoptic issues at the moment that are certainly capable of having synoptic questions asked about them. Massive issue to do, to do of course, with plastic pollution. has big micro macro effects. The growth of renewable energy. Labour migration could be a huge issue, particularly in the wider global context or in terms of the UK-EU relationship. Demographics, the ageing population could come into play, as, as might the very topical issue of protectionism between countries and deglobalisation. Could Brexit make an appearance on the synoptic paper, as well as, for example, financial market instability or financial market regulation, micro and macro effects of that. And a big topic in the last year or two has been the explosive growth in the labour market not just in the UK, but in other countries as well, of the gig economy. Micro and macroeconomics has a big, big part to play in any discussion about the gig economy. So those are just some of the synoptic issues that might come up. Uh, we're going to prepare some what's called synoptic shorts, little three, four minute videos uh, looking at synoptic essay plans, questions and things over the next day or two. So check out our YouTube site and pick up some more resources on synoptic economics.